I just want to go back to the idea. Um, if you can kind of um, unpack a little bit what process you were going through at the time. It's a bit of self-reflection. It was in COVID. Um, and so, you you know, you're doing some reading, some reflection, and it was about, you know, what being a leader meant. So what what were some of the kind of things, questions that you're asking yourself um, that enabled you then to kind of have this sort of aha moment of like, ah, here's this great idea. What, yeah. was, what sort of led to that? Um, I think it was, uh, this is probably a few parts. One was understanding my own privilege, um, which I think is starting to more broadly understand in society. Um, that, 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 that's sort of an interesting self, uh, a journey of, you know, you have to go on. Sometimes it's quite difficult. Um, but to understand the privilege that I got just because my parents sent me to get piano lessons, right? I mean, it was already like streets ahead, right? So thinking a lot about that, um, thinking a lot, as I mentioned, about leadership and what is leadership? Because as, as we mentioned, typically leadership, at least in my sphere, has been defined as leadership inside a company. And, and as I started to question that, found, found it very quickly, was, was like, that's not enough. Like, that, like, all that will do is perpetuate current state. Um, and then the, the other component, and you mentioned it, because I, I think if you're not passionate about something, I just worry that like the longevity will be there. You won't put the reps in, right? Um, I'm really passionate about music and the, and the benefits that it can bring, and I love it, and I, it's something that's part of my life every day. Going into a recording studio with kids to record some of their songs is like a joy for me. Right. And I, I don't think that's selfish. I just think it's if I didn't find it joyful, I'm not sure that I'll be doing it in five years time. I'm just being honest. So it was sort of thinking through all of that and trying to figure out how I could focus all of this on, on something that that would truly be impactful, that was pushing me into a new space of leadership. But it was one that I could confidently say, because the last thing you want to do is set up a program like this and then abandon it 12, 12 months later. I mean, you're better off having not done it at all. It's really unfair. And so you better have this belief that you can be in it for the long run. 